Hey YouTube, it is the AVC and we are back for some more Let's Play Europa Universalist III as the Henza. Yesterday episode we managed to take, well, in the last series of episodes we managed to take uh, Oldenburg, Friesland, uh, and Berg as well. And from previously we had acquired Schleswig, Holstein, Stade, and Koblenz, although Stade is now a core. Holstein will soon be a core, and Schleswig will be a core soon after. Collins will take a little bit longer, till uh, seven years from now. However, we are planning to go to war with the HRE this episode. And before you ask, before you say, oh my goodness, that's a terrible idea, you're going to get yourself killed again, let me show you some stats. First of all, revolt risk, they have 19 and a half war exhaustion. I'm not sure, but that, I'm pretty sure that that's probably the highest they can possibly get. So they're at maximum war exhaustion. They also have low legitimacy. And you can see that because there's revolt risk caused by legitimacy. If you have high legitimacy, it means that your uh, revolt risk is actually lowered. But they have low legitimacy, so the revolt risk is higher. They're also at negative stability, which gives them uh, at least a plus one. It might give plus two. I think that might be a typo or something. And also uh, some other problems because of not accepted uh, culture. However, 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 there are uh, three things that will help us. First of all, that is, uh, that's the first one there, high war exhaustion and low stability. That gives us uh, a definite bonus. They also have very low prestige for some reason, probably because they keep losing wars to people. Uh, the second reason is because we definitely have naval superiority. Let me show you. Their navy is just absolutely atrocious. Oh, that's armies. Navies. HRE, there they are. Check it out, 17 ships, of which 4 are big ships, 8 are small ships, and 5 are transports. So, uh, a big part of any war against a large power is getting uh, naval supremacy. You have to have that navy that can that can beat the other, the other guys if you're going to go for a long, drawn-out war in which war exhaustion is going to help you. Thankfully, their war exhaustion is already really high, so we don't really have to do that, but... Um, you know, every little bit counts, and uh, it will also give us a little bit of war score blockading all their ports. And a little known fact, if you are blockading ports with your navy, and you are sieging the province at the same time, it will cause the uh, siege to go faster. So that's a, that's a pretty cool little fact. Now, I'll explain why I'm splitting up the cavalry here, but just let me talk while I'm doing that, and I'll explain all things in due time. Um, the third thing that we have going for us is that uh, I have done a practice practice round against the HRE, and we won, and we took all seven of the states that we need to form Germany. I took Brandenburg, I took Altmark, I took Anhalt, I took uh, Leipzig, Thuringen, and Dresden. Is that seven? I think I missed one. Uh, German nation. Uh, Brandenburg, Altmark, Anhalt, Dresden, Leipzig, Thuringen, Franken. I think I missed Franken. Where's Franken? There's Franken. Yeah, I missed Franken. Alright, so I took all of those, and um, I didn't play long enough to actually form Germany, but that's all you need. Once you take those, you just have to wait 50 years so you get cores on all of them. So, you know, the border was kind of funky, because, you know, the border was kind of funky, but whatever. Um, so, I do have prior experience on our side. We also do have level 4 forts pretty much uh, in half of our country, and we're going to be able to build level 4 forts and the rest of them. Uh, basically what we're waiting for is for Lübeck to be done, because they're building a university for three more years, so once that's done, we'll have to wait another year until the fort is finished. So in four, 1640, sorry, 1686, we'll be able to go to war. In the meantime, we'll have to build forts everywhere else, which is fine by me. We can definitely handle that. We have force limits up. Nice. Uh, I'm also going to maneuver my navy. Um, right. All the transports need to get out. All 18 of you. And we'll give you a escort of five frigates. And one big ship. Actually, no, we'll give you both big ships. Why not? Um, and we apparently have galleys as well. Where are the galleys? They're at the top, aren't they? Yep, there they are. You can take the galleys as well. So, we're going to have our 28-ship uh, transport navy, which we probably won't need, but we'll have it anyways. 
and then our 61 um, main navy, I guess you say, uh, our, our offensive navy. We also have a navy down here. Yeah, a big navy down here. So that's 110 ships, and we're just going to go ahead and get set up in blockade formation for later so that we're ready to go. We're also going to try and finish up in colonies so that we don't have to worry about them uh, having issues with rebels or natives while we're gone. So we do actually need to go to Gulf of Venice as well. Let's go ahead and split up again. And those guys can go over. There we go. So that should be a total blockade. They don't have that many ports, even though they're fairly large. They only have these ones, and they have these southern ones in Italy. Uh, so we're going to split these guys up so that they cover both, like so. And... Oh, you're hunting rebels. No, you're not. Yes, you are. Stop hunting rebels and go to Finn, like I told you. Damn it. Uh, cavalry, right. You guys are also hunting rebels. I should probably have fixed that, but it's not that much, not that big of an issue. Alright, so the reason that I have the cavalry here, as I build forts, I will explain why I have the cavalry here. The cavalry is here to scorch provinces and burn them to the ground. And I'm not talking about enemy provinces, I'm talking about ours. If you see here, there's an option called Scorched Land, which does a whole bunch of negative things. It lasts for two years, and it causes attrition to go up, basically. It causes a lot of bad things, but for the enemy, it causes attrition to go up. So, you know, obviously that's not good if, uh, if you intend to be using that land for anything productive uh, within the next, you know, within the next two years. But we're not. We're basically just going to be sitting on it. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to take 1,000 cavalry to each border territory that we have. Oh, crap, that's not what I wanted to do. And then as soon as the war starts, we raise it. And we, we burn it, and we cause it to become incredibly difficult to live there. And ba what that'll do is it will mean that uh, the HRA will walk in with their massive 30,000 men, and they'll stand here in Mecklenburg, and it'll be a level 4 fort, so they won't assault it. And they'll just slowly take attrition for like, you know, like 10 months until they're down from 30,000 men to something more realistic, like, I don't know, 14,000? And then once they have 14,000 men, we'll swoop in with our armies up here, okay? We'll swoop in with these armies, and then we will crush them like bugs. And these both have 15 and 3, and the, uh, the 6,000 men up here, the 4,000 infantry and the 2,000 cannons... Uh, that's what we're going to add all this cavalry to. They're all going to join that, and that's going to be our attack army. Where else do we need forts? We need a fort in Berg, but it's building. Let's do it in Westphalen. And we have colonists as well. Good deal. Finish that up, please. Now, another major thing that definitely helped with the war was that we got all the way up to Land Tech 34. And that enables uh, new infantry, namely the Caroline. I switched to the Caroline infantry. Those were the ones that really helped us win. Uh, so those will be the ones that I will be building, will be choosing, um, because they are mainly attack centered. Uh, and I was, you know, I was mainly attacking because I would let them sit in my provinces and then I'd attack them, and hopefully destroy them. So, uh, oh, good job, purse converted. So I'm going to use that uh, type of infantry, at least for the time being. Oh, no. Send a dude to Apache. Thank you. Who's this? Send what's open market. No, go away. Payment succeeded. Good. We can build another fort. Where do we need to build a fort? Uh, we can build a fort in Berg. Finish up the southern part of the border. Excellent. These have level 4. Osnabrück has a level 4. Hanover needs one. Stade needs one. These two are good. Hamburg could use one. Muneberg has one. Oh, I thought they didn't. That was weird. We gained reconquest on Syria. Why? Oh, we had a core on Castile's land that we lost. That was down here. Ah, hello, Syria. Hello. How are you doing over there? Who are you guys allied with? Georgia and Tunisia. I'm not terribly afraid of either of those. 
So we're gonna wait till we get up here, and then we're gonna declare war on you, and then we're gonna kick your ass and steal Sidon. How's that sound? Okay, we got Cohorn Mortar. So we'll switch to that now. Uh, we have what? Yeah, we have Swivel Cannon now. It has better fire and better shock and better morale. So it's better all around. So yeah, definitely, definitely go for the Cohorn Mortar. Ottomans just kind of goofing around, or sorry, Austria goofing around with uh, Sarahan. So grats for you, bro. And I wonder if we're going to discover this territory anytime soon, because we didn't. I played for like 10 years and we didn't discover that, so it'd be cool if we could discover that. Now we're just killing Castile's rebels for them, because why not? We're not even paying our troops, are we? No, we're at half. Let's go up to full morale. Full payment from full morale will work well for us. So uh, we've arrived in Judea. Let's go ahead and declare war. Georgia and Tunisia. Austria's defender of the faith, but they're a bit busy, so I don't think they'll join. Also, do we have a truce with them? No. Georgia and Tunisia honored, but uh, Syria's the leader of the war, so that shouldn't be much of an issue. Level 1 fort, I love it. Go take Beirut. They want peace already. <laughs> Alright, can we get peace with you? Get out of the way, Vent. Can you side on? They would. Excellent. Give me some dough. Uh, get rid of your core on Judea. Will you also give me Beirut? They would not. Okay, that's fine. I don't want Beirut anyways. It's a worthless piece of land. Yeah, you can give the rest of your cores. Alright, so we can either... Go narrow minded or lose stability. Yeah, we'll lose stability. Do not like narrow minded. It's good if you need missionaries, but if you're trying to get technology faster, you do need innovative. Alright, so you guys can go to side on and chill there. Revolt risk is manageable. So you can just sit there and hunt rebels. How's that sound? And that war was uh, distressingly easy. Distressingly so. I think we're going to have a hard time now with the HRE, but hopefully not. They don't have all that many troops left. Uh, they only had about 100,000 when I fought them. So uh, hopefully that trend will hold true. Are we in blo good blockade spots? We are. What about here? Good. Oh, we need to have someone in Adriatic Sea. Good. Uh, do they have a navy here? I don't see it. I don't see one. So you can do it, you want. Go have fun. Tribal conquest on Nodged. Okay. Ally with Austria. No thank you. No thank you. Oh, Austria got peace with Sarhan. Wow, Austria's looking just meaty and tough and strong and burly and dangerous and I'd really like to have them as an ally. Really, really would. Really, really would. Hamburg, have a level four fort. My original plan, uh, I was watching, uh, oh, hold up, Refinery in St. Bartholomew, I don't want that, give me a better mission. Rule of the Seas, great. I'll do that eventually, probably. Uh, my original strategy here was, uh, I was watching Shenra's, uh, current Shia campaign in EU3, and he is trying to take over Japan, uh, as Shia, which is a Chinese nation. So he'd colonize some, uh, if you haven't seen it, he colonized some islands north of Japan, which have a land strait similar to these. And then he was letting Japan's troops cross the strait, and then blocking it with a navy. And then uh, killing all the troops off. And then he would just uh, kill them all off that way without uh, risking his own armies. Which was uh, very clever. And then when that was all done, then he would invade Japan afterwards. So I was intending to try that, but it turned out that we didn't actually have to, because their armies were so weak and... They had so few troops after just taking attrition anyways that it was uh, quite easy. And Schleswig is now a core. Welcome, Schleswig. Wait, was it? Yeah, it is. Hello, Schleswig. And uh, we are going to build a march here. Local defensiveness plus 200%. I kid you not. I kid you not. HRE had 50,000 guys just standing in Brunswick for four years. It whittled them down to 10,000 guys. <laughs> And they made an Im they made a whopping thirteen percent progress for f after five years with a level four fort and uh, a march. So that was uh, 
That's real good. Stability should be up next month. No, a couple months. That's fine. How far can we go back? We can go all, almost all the way back. Go to September, please. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Excellent. And let's get some land tech investment. March of 68. Alright. We can do that. We can definitely do that. Luna, is Lubeck done? I think Lubeck is done. Stop clicking on the Navy. Thank you. We do have a university, which means we can pass the School Establishment Act. So let's go ahead and do that. Production efficiency plus four. Stability cost modifier minus three percent. Excellent. Wonder how that'll affect us. Let's take a look. I think we got a little bit more money monthly, but not a ton yearly. A level four fort in Hamburg. So I think we're just waiting for uh, Lubeck now, right? Yeah, everybody else got it. Oh. Right. Um. Hmm. Well, see, the thing is, in the uh, practice game I played, I got rid of Otto, and I got someone else, but he did not have seven... Um, he did not have at least six admin. Otto has seven. Uh, and we need that in order to enact li this uh, important cultural decision. So I think we're going to keep him until we can enact that. Then we can always trade him out later. We're at least going to keep him till then. We have two colonists. So let's send one to Concho and one to Kamechi. We're looking good, my friends. Looking good. And if we're all done with forts up here, I guess we can go ahead and build some level 1 forts. Oh. Yeah, let's, yeah, let's build level 2 first, just in case something weird happens, like Scandinavia tries to take their land back. You guys can come over there. Actually, no, you stay on the islands. Stay on the islands. We might as well just stay on the islands until we're sure that the HRE isn't going to attack us. Because, you know, they could still they could still surprise me. They could attack my army instead of my navy. Or instead of just sending all my forts, they could attack the army. I'd rather be safe than sorry, my friends. And yeah, it's not a lot of dudes. It's only like 40 or 50,000 guys, but it was enough. I mean, we could always build more, I guess. We have tons of money. Manpower is kind of a restriction, but not really. At least not in this phase. And our... Man, our uh, we definitely handle it. Hmm. Let's build another army of 15 and 3. Because we uh, can't go to war until the until Lubeck's done anyways. So we might as well. There's 5. There's 5. And uh, these are Gustavian infantry, but they will automatically upgrade to uh, Caroline when we switch. So it'll be just fine. I promise. Uh, yeah, we'll take that. We're getting rid of inflation anyways. Yeah, that'll be fine. Hurry up and get that land tech. It's taking you so long. Oh, the fact that we're paused. <laughs> the fact that we're paused might have something to do with it. Oh, boy. And we got lots of cores. Cool. That was, um, was that these? Nutka. Where is it? Oh, yep. Wow, we have a core here. That's insane. If we got quests for the New World, we could freaking explore <laughs> explore to China this way if we wanted to. Jeez. Is this within our range? Not missionary. Colonial. Oh my god, we could freaking colonize Sakhalin. That'd be hilarious. But it looks like Castile is already doing it. Got some more, nice. And we do have a colonist, so let's send him to Kansas. That actually looks really high north for Kansas, but maybe that's just me. 
Constellation failed in Chikorilla. Really? You guys had a... Oh, you only had an 82% because their freaking aggressiveness was so high. Well, why don't you take a trick? Kill him off. Good. Fur. Fur is good. Fur is valuable. Valuable is good. Therefore, fur is good. And we'll keep these guys in Schleswig. School charter. Hmm. Hmm. Free university, no build time, no cost, or lose prestige. Oh, this is a really, really hard decision. You know, I think, I think I'm going to have to go with the university. Man, that was a toughie. That was a real tough decision right there. Alright, we are paying our dudes 100 ducats a month. That's insane. But we're getting enough, that doesn't really matter. And our land tech's gonna go up real quick anyways. In October, September of this year. So you know what, why not get this started? Do some forts before I forget. And I think we should probably call allies. Who's gonna join us? Conquest of Ruppen, Altmark, and Wurzburg. And we're not going to take Wurzburg because we want to keep this Kaz's belly against them just in case we want to take some more land. Uh, everybody would join except for Gelray. Okay, well, I don't really care about Gelray anyways. So let's do it. And the first thing we need to do is scorch and run the hell away. So basically, like I said, what this does is it reduces the number of men that this place can support, and that means their attrition will be really high. And since it's a level 4 fort, they won't assault it, or if they do assault it, they won't be able to take it. So uh, they will literally feast on ashes because they won't be able to eat any food. Alright, so you guys all su are successfully scorching stuff. So why don't you go this way. And our navies are successfully blockading already. And I think we have 100% blockade already. Yep, 100% blockade. They're at 16.12 war exhaustion, 26% war capacity, negative 2 stability. They do have 240,000 troops. Alright, let's see how this goes. Burgundy joined. Austria is at war with us. That's not a problem, because they're far away. Brabant is at war with us, okay. Galway did not join, and our vessels did join. Well, Brabant, I really could care less about you. They don't want peace, though. What about you, Austria? You want peace yet? Are we big and scary enough for you? We're already blockading them. I mean, come on. They'll probably give us peace later. Oh, hold up. Oh, shoot, we're fighting in the Navy. Um, let's split those guys and go here, and then we'll run this Navy away this province as soon as we can. Oh, never mind. We just lost them all. Lol. Hey, Austria, you won. Do you want peace yet? No. Can we surrender to you? Nope. That's fine. Causation failed in Kansas. Seriously? Seriously, Kansas? Um, should we attack them? No, we'll just sit here. There's no need to attack Austria's navy. Alright, so our guys are slowly filtering out, and this is uh, this is 30,000 guys, and they're already down to 25,000. That's how ridiculous this is. We're definitely going to wait for Caroline Infantry before we do anything, though. Because those guys are so much better than these. Yep, 24,000. We lost in Adriatic Sea. I did, God, I really have to pay more attention to when we're being attacked. Okay, troops are down there. Seriously, Austria, just get out of here, bro. This isn't your fight. I'll give you tons of dough. No, they don't want it. Well, if they're gonna keep beating us, we better get these ships out of the water. So otherwise they're gonna beat us. We have an admiral here. And you guys don't have an admiral. That might have been why you lost. Why don't you get an admiral? I think these navies are high enough, far enough north that Austria won't really mess with them, but I'll put the extra navy right here, just in case. Okay, good. We arrived in Chikorilla and killed everybody. Excellent. 
So why don't you just go kill people in Kiowa and Kansas. And yeah, just just yeah. Just go kill everybody. Then go back to Niagara. There you go, and we can colonize Pow Potawatomi while you're gone. How does that sound? Playing good. Self sustaining. Good. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and get these armies in position to attack this one as well. You can come over here. No, oh, no, don't go that way. Go across the islands. Switzerland got white piece, that's fine. Do you want peace yet, Brabant? No. Well, Burgundy's gonna stop you. And then you're going to give me what I want. How's that sound? Oh, Burgundy didn't stop you because you have level 3 for it. What about now? Whatever. Whatever. Austria? I'll give you cookies. Lots and lots of cookies. No, they don't want it. Screw you guys. Burgundy's navy is just kind of goofing. Their navy is just kind of goofing around. How much navy is in this? 12 big ships. Uh, 32 bark types. Okay. We're at negative one because we are losing naval battles. That's fine. I think what we're going to do is we're going to take this navy. These guys are good to go, I believe. Yep. Are you good to go? You're mostly good to go. Okay, you guys are going to go to Apulia. And uh, Naples is also over the HRE, which is pretty cool. Means we got a southern ally to help us out. Alright, then what we're going to do is we're going to do the old bait and switch. Wait for this navy to be a little bit healthier, pop them out, and engage Austria's navy, and then bring these guys out, the other 55 ships we have. Why are we fighting in Lauenburg? I'm not tell you to fight in Lauenburg. Alright, you can go there. And you can go there. And you'll probably have to go this way. So just go that way. How's that sound? Alright, we are beating them in Lauenburg, looks like, because we have double their troops. Yep. We discovered Kodiak Island. We lost our diplomat. Damn it. Whatever. And check this shit out. So this is what we have right now, Gustavian. Check out the Caroline. Just look at that. Oh my god, that's so beautiful. So beautiful. We could go for line infantry. Um, they are more balanced. But personally, I would just prefer the Caroline because we're going to be attacking anyways. So we do have to wait for them, our infantry's morale to get back up. Uh, but that's fine, we can wait for that. You guys need to split up a bit. So that we have... Oh, they also get snazzy new suits. Check that out. Yeah. Look at him bobbing his head. He's like, I know I'm a boss. They're running away. I don't blame them. That's 23,000 men. Reduced down to 11. I would be running to... Alright, we'll wait one more month for these guys to get morale and troops, and then we will attack. And should we keep investing in land? That's 13 years ahead of its time. Let's do government instead. Then we're going to get naval in three years with no investment. I like it. So you guys can go ahead and get into position. Like that. And then we will pincer them. Can we get a general for either of you? A general for both of you. And we'll give a general to this guy as well. Alright, these guys are ready to go. Let's rock and rumble, my friends. We got double the number of troops that the HRE has, and they're only Atlantic 29, and we're at 34. So we are we are about to stomp them. Check it out. It's 36 on 18. I want you to look at the at the results of this battle. Look at this. We destroyed that army. We lost not even a thousand guys. Not even a thousand guys. So look at that. They're up to 20.26 war exhaustion. Minus, one, minus two stability now. Zero percent war capacity. That's insane. Austria, you're the only real competitor. Do you want peace? They would. Okay, bye. So we don't have to bait and switch with them. Uh, we're going to split these guys up. I don't think the HRE's navy is big enough to scare me. No, they only have two big ships and eight barks. I don't even know where those are. They could be anywhere. Okay, looks like Naples is already blockading here.
but they might end their blockade at any time when they get peace, so we'll just go ahead and stay there. And that should be 100% blockade, 90% blockade. What are we not blockading? I don't think they have a port anywhere else. Oh, they don't have a... Oh, they have Ancona. Wait. Well, we'll take... Uh, 4,000 guys. Not 4,000 guys. We'll take four ships and go to Ancona and blockade it, and then we'll have 100%. Brabant wants peace, they'll give me 23 ducats. Can you, can you, ser is that seriously the best you can do? Who's this? Scandinavia, why are you up here, bro? We could force them to be Protestant, and we could vassalize them, but I don't want to. Alright, there we go. They will convert to Protestant, they will renounce their claims, we get 11 prestige. Good for us. Alright, so you go scare them away. Yeah, they're gonna run. And you can keep going just like that. And let's retreat a bit farther. And let's go kill these guys. Yeah, white piece with burgundy, that's fine. Yeah, just look at that. Just look at that. We lost 1,600. They lost over 12,000. So let's go finish off that army. Goodbye. By army, and let's go ahead and assault this. Yep, that's how good they are at killing level two forts. It takes literally like three days, five days. Sorry. So we're just going to take a couple of these to make their war exhaustion even higher, and prevent these troops from spawning. And we can bring this army. They're going to Brunswick. Why are you going to Brunswick? Stop that. They're still going. They're running away. We're not going to catch them, even though we have a general. Can we get a better general, one with lots of maneuver stat? We can. And they will now get there on the same day as they leave, so hopefully we'll catch them. But if not, no biggie. Uh, I think they're probably trying to take back Ruppin and all these other provinces. We just, yeah, they're trying to take back those provinces. That's fine. We'll scare them off. And honestly, one army should be plenty to kill these guys. Oh, government tech went up. Nothing happened. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, look at that, one army. Ooh. Ouch. They're still hurting, though. They're going to Ruppen? No, they're going to Lautenberg. It's kind of a weird place to go. Find my me, though. You stay there, wait for reinforcement, then assault. And we're actually out of time for this episode, but as you can see, this war is going very well. Uh, there's rebels all over the HRE. They're spawning, you know, a couple thousand dudes all over the place to try and kill us. They've still got, they've still got quite a few thousand, quite a few dudes, but for whatever reason, they're not bringing them over. I don't, I don't know why, and I really don't care why, uh, but we don't have to fight them at the moment. So thanks for watching, guys. I'm going to go straight into the next episode, so see you soon. Bye.